Hi lovely people, thank you for joining me. Um, I'm Charlotte from Not Too Shabby by Charlotte, your local Nottingham Fingy Nail Paint stockist. Um, I decided to do a little video series walking you through the wonderful range of Fusion Nail Paint colours to help you um, understand the different shades, the different undertones, how the different colours will work in your projects. So um, I've got five videos in the series. You can find these videos on my Facebook page and on the website. So the first video was walking you through the whites, creams and browns. The second video was walking you through the greys all the way through to black. Then the third one we had blue. Now we're on video number four where we have the greens. So I'm going to walk you through this lovely range of greens. Um, confession before we get started, I'm a green girl. Love greens, love nature. Um, so these are some of my favourite shades. I'm going to walk you through the greens, but before I walk you through each colour individually, I'll just let you know that as well as this video, there are other ways that Fusion have um, can help you choose your colour. So we have the True Colour card, which you can purchase from their website, it's 2 99 which has um, a swatch of each colour. They're all true to colour, true to texture, so they will show you exactly what your paint will look like when it dries. And that also includes, if I drew this back to one, also includes our range of metallics, which are great. I should probably do a sixth video on the metallics, walking you through those. So there you go, colour card. Which also has sort of some tips and hints. Um, great, helpful thing. Then we have the tester pots, which are 475. So a tester pot, we sometimes also call them a project pot because they're great if you just want to do a small project or a small detail. You can paint. I've managed to paint a chair in one of these. Um, chair, lampshades, photo frames, small projects, or you want to trial out your colour so you can see how it complements your um, carpets, your soft furnishings, your sofa, your wallpaper, your curtains, every, all of the details in your room. So that's a um, really good way of trying that out. It will also show you as well how the colour reacts in your environment because you'll have different lighting. You might have very nat a lot of natural light. You might have synthetic light, um, artificial lighting. It might be a very bright room. It might be quite a dark room. So this will show you how um, it's a great way just to try your colour before you buy a full-sized pot. Um, and then when you've got a full-size 500ml pot, the world is your oyster. You can get painting, have lots of fusion fun. So there you go. And then, oh, but then there's the fan deck, which I'm using as well. This isn't something that's special just for me. Um, they're 19 99 and that shows all of the colours. And it also shows loads of really easy-to-follow recipes, so you can mix even more colours. Get the same colour every time. So, um, that's enough prep, that's enough talky-talky about that. Let's move on, dive in to the beautiful colours. So let's start off with the pale shades. I always work light to dark. So first off, we've got Bedford. Um, Bedford, it was included in my whites, creams and neutrals video because this is very much a neutral shade, but it's got a green undertone in it. So I've included it in here. If you want, most colour schemes need a neutral in them. Um, you don't tend to have a room that doesn't have any sort of white or cream in it anywhere. So if you're looking for a green toned neutral, Bedford is the one for you. Then let's move on to the next set. Let's move on to these two. So we've got Brooke and Inglenook. I put these together as a pair because they are in a similar kind of family. Inglenook is very soft, serene, minty washed out tranquil feminine shade it's lovely it just um oh, it just makes you take a breath out it's just a lovely oh, kind of um kind of color really feminine pretty shade and then you can see that brook is a similar it's in the same kind of family it's a similar kind of shade it's just more saturated it's a little bit deeper so whereas the ingle nook um is very fresh if you're looking for a fresh shade brook is just that little bit stronger just that little bit warmer you can see those two working together. And then if you want to be even braver, it's still quite a pale shade, but if you want to be a bit braver, you can go for Laurentian, which really does make quite a statement. It's not a subtle shade at all. It's a proper turquoise. It's got it's very opaque shade because it's got lots of white pigment mixed into it. So you can see whereas they're quite washed out and soft, that's a um, Laurentian is a lot punchier. So you can see the difference between those two shades. Whereas when you're looking, when you're searching Pinterest and Paint It Beautiful, the Paint It Beautiful group, these colours might look quite similar when you're searching for them because it's going to really depend upon the quality of the photography of the piece, the, how much it's been edited, the lighting shining on the piece, what other colours um, 
the piece you're surrounded with is going to turn your eyes. So I think it might be quite helpful to see those three next to each other. So there you go. If you're ever struggling to decide between colours, you pop in and see me. But if you're not close by, I can um, put you pictures of colours next to each other to see how they're going to work, see how different they are, see which one's lighter, which one's darker. It really helps just to put two side by side rather than looking at two different pictures that have been taken in completely different situations. Let's move those around. What's next? Doo -doo -doo. Let's do French eggshell. So French eggshell, if you leave those down there, you can see that they are very green. They've got a yellow base. So obviously green is a mix of blue and yellow. And depending on how much of each colour, you're going to lean more towards the blue or more towards the yellow. These are clearly yellow toned greens, the much more yellow. Whereas the French eggshell is leaning more towards the um, blue tone of the greens. So if you put this next to blues, it will look very green. Whereas here, next to the greens, it's leaning it towards the blue. Which makes it a really versatile, helpful colour because you can mix it in different colour schemes and it will do different jobs. So French eggshell um, is Fusion's version of like a duck egg, but it's with it being French eggshell, it is more timeless, more greyed off, more sophisticated, more soft, not tacky at all. That is a colour that you're going to love for life. Now let's move on to... Let's talk about these lovely khaki sort of earthy shades. If I bring Bedford back, you can see that these are not fresh colours at all. These are muddy, down-to-earth, yummy, inspired-by-nature colours. So you've got Bedford, Lichen and Bayberry. So they're all in the same kind of family. You've just got the very light-toned, the mid-toned and the dark-toned. So they look amazing together. This is a great example of how you can use three tones of the same colour from light to dark to get a very um, harmonious, complementary colour scheme. Whereas if you mixed one of these with um, something that was red-toned, which is um, the opposite side of the colour wheel to green, it would be a lot more contrasting and more poppy where and give you a different effect and different emotions when you look at the piece, a different reaction when you walk into the room than when you put together three colours that are soft and working well together. So um, there you go. I personally love these three colours because they are um, their origins are in the traditional heritage kind of shades. They are a great way to do a modern piece but for it to not be too scary modern and to make it a little bit more timeless, you can have, say, I love mashing together old and new. And you could have um, a really modern shaped piece, but using a traditional colour will just soften it slightly and not make it too harsh. So there you go. Oh, just sorry, I keep going to get rid of these colours. I love these colours so much. These look amazing with brass and gold. Just like imagine that I wish I had a sample of something that I could pop next to it. Imagine those with brass hardware. You know, so put those one side. Let's move on to the next ones. Okay, let's talk about Upper Canada Green. So this is um, a very old school, one of the original Fusion colours. Um, Fusion Paint is the company is based in Canada. The paint is made in Canada, and I don't know the history behind why this colour is named what it is, but it's an important Canadian colour. So. Um, yeah, really beautiful and fresh. It's sort of almost pastel, but it's got a bit more oomph to it than a pastel. Lovely, lovely, yummy chartreuse kind of colour. Then let's talk about Sacred Sage. So I've included Sacred Sage in here in the green collection because it's a sage. Um, but it is a very greyed off sage. You might sometimes think of sage having much more yellow in it and being um, much warmer. But this is so relaxing and greyed off sort of um, shade of sage that you could use it as a grey or you could use it as a green or you could use it as a neutral. It's really, really versatile, yummy colour. And then we'll move on to the two darkest shades in the green range. So here we've got Park Bench and Picket Fence. They do very different jobs. Park Bench is just, oh, look at that, I mean... This is based on park benches found in Paris, but there's park benches this colour all over the world. We've got them in London. It's a really lovely, rich, fully saturated, deep 
traditional green, which could again, because it's so punchy and, and bold, it could look really, really modern as well. Excellent, excellent colour. Then let's go to one of our newest colours, Press Fern. This is such an on-trend colour at the moment. I personally think it's really, really timeless. I think if you paint a piece of furniture on this, you're going to love it forever. But um, if you look through sort of kitchen design and kitchen cabinetry at the moment, lots of people are painting their kitchens this colour. And um, it's just like jewels. It's like emeralds. Beautiful. So that is Press Fern. Very, very popular colour. So that, I think, shows you that I've walked through... The greens now there's so many shades of green so that is what we've got in the fusion range but if you um obviously if you look at the color wheel there are millions of colors we can't do a paint in every single shade so that ticks most of the boxes but if i get rid of this hairball and show you if we move to the second half of the fan deck <coughs> excuse me then you'll see that there are lots more greens so there's lots of recipes for more greens. I'm not finding this out very well. There's more than I'm showing you. I'm not doing it very well. But um, there's lots more recipes so it can show you how to mix different greens. And also, once you um, get used to the paint and you've been using it a little bit and you've got sort of leftovers of pots, you can start mixing them together to create your own colour. You don't have to just follow the recipes. You can do whatever you want, mix any colours together and create something that nobody else will have. So... Um, that is my little video about the greens. Happy painting. Bye.